Right, welcome back. Tournament prep day 25-ish. I'm back in England after a great trip. I just want to go through today what we're going to do, what, what the plan is for the year, how we're going to go about things, because this is not really going to be that easy, and I'll explain why as we go through this video. Really good trip, three weeks in South Africa, two tournaments, played really well in, uh, played well in both of them, played really well in the second one, solid three rounds and managed to film all three rounds and that's got some amazing feedback. I had about, well, at least 500 comments. I did have a look at all of the comments and I just want to say thank you um, for a lot of the comments on there. Secondly, I'd like to thank the Global Pairs Challenge because without them, it wouldn't have been possible to go to South Africa for that three week trip. Massive thanks to the Global Pairs Challenge. And this is a perfect time to say, if you're looking for a match play competition pairs event, where you play in your regions as a global competition and you have the chance to get in through to the finals, which is in South Africa, then head over, the link is in the description, and then use my code, which is James10, you get 10% off. So get involved in that one, and massive thanks to uh, the Global Pairs Challenge. I need to talk about what the plan is for this year, because um, like I said, it's not gonna be that straightforward. playing a tournament on Thursday this week at Cherson, which is going to be Devon Alliance. I'm going to be filming that, but in the old school way. I've had a few quotes to um, film tournament rounds back here, and it's just not feasible. Which sort of brings me on to my next point. My best video in South Africa was the tournament round, round one, 13,000 views. 90 quid, that's brought in, and 90 pounds. That doesn't cover that basically doesn't cover the tournament entries and the uh, and the Ubers and my fee. So I'm pretty much running at a, a loss. That being my side thing to support my playing at the moment is not really working. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to put it all together. Second thing, just add this little beauty. Yes, yeah, so we've got the new Cobra Sport 40 with this. So the idea with this face, it's got different lofts at different points and this camera just won't focus. But the, uh, that basically means no matter where you strike it off the face, there we go. No matter where you strike it off the face, you've got a nice consistent roll. It's uh, bloody lovely. I just had this new grip put on it as well, which is um, a slightly heavier grip than it came with. And I put four layers on just to add some more weight to the club. Thinking about potentially adding a bit of weight to the head as well, just to make this a nice weighty club. And I'm also having a little tinker with the stroke, maybe going cross-handed again, because it just encourages all the stuff that I want to do with my stroke. Just really nice and solid, no like flip or release. And I have to consciously try not to basically flip the blade when I'm putting right below left, but when I put left below right, it keeps everything, just keeps everything more solid. So having a little tinker around with that, I may go left below right on Thursday. All right, so this is the reality of the situation I'm in right now. So my YouTube channel is my sideline to my professional golf. It's a nice little sideline. It was bringing in an okay income. I had my YouTube revenue and then a few sponsors and then Cobra Puma. Right now, all I've got is Cobra Puma. I'm really surprised actually, like those three videos, those tournament videos, that's tournament golf filmed well in under 15 minutes. Like if, if a video is going to pop, that will be it. But it just got to, you know, the 10, 11, 12,000 and then just stops. It doesn't go out to more people. That's as good as I'm going to do with my budget so the youtube is not earning enough money to really fund like to as my main sideline so i can just concentrate on my golf so i'm still going to be doing the youtube but i'm going to be doing coaching in person and that brings in more money which allows me to then play golf like the reality is at the moment i've got no sponsorship and if someone said, look, it's 40 grand to go play, I would bite their hand off and go play because I feel like my game is right on the cusp. But that's not the reality of the situation. And a lot of people said, well, why don't you just like give up this YouTube stuff and just focus on your goal? I've got to, I've got to eat basically, you know, so I, I need to bring in some money. 
I can't just go and play um, with no sponsorship and no income. And yeah, I may earn some money playing golf. That would be the plan. But it's a very costly thing to do, just travel around playing golf tournaments. You need some capital just to um, to get going. So more on the coaching soon. Really cool venue coming to Exeter, which, um, which I'm going to be showing you. So in person, like a couple of days a week, whatever it is, um, it frees me up to play golf with actual money so I can, you know, so I can feed myself um, and not and not perish, which would be nice. But obviously, we're going to continue YouTube stuff. I'm not going to give that up, but um, it can't be my main little money um, earner because, uh, unfortunately, it's just there's just not much money in it at the moment for me. So we will continue with the YouTube stuff. Going to be taking you on this whole season. I hope this doesn't sound negative at all. I'm just trying to sort of maneuver a way of a way of my golf getting to the tour. That is that is the plan. But it's it's not a straightforward road. I've not got, um, you know, I've not got someone who's gone like there you go, go and play. So I'm having to uh, moan on the side, which is what pretty much 90% of golfers have to do. So I'm not like moaning about that at all. Um, but that's just the the reality of the situation. So. Yeah, we. Um, I'm going to be filming this tournament vlog. This I'm going to be filming this tournament this week, so look out for that. And um, appreciate all the support again for the last tournament and to the Global Pairs Challenge for helping me go to South Africa. See you on the next one.